Welcome back to another Battlefield 2042 settings video. Today, we're going to go over some new settings uh, that I've kind of gotten real happy with uh, since the latest update, Season 6, uh, Dark Creations. I did want to wait a little bit before I put this video out just to make sure there were no major patches that had to be done immediately, immediately after the launch of Season 6. But so far, so good. But there's a lot of fun stuff to cover here. Uh, some new additions to the settings menu itself and the, some of the ways that you can set up your controller that are actually really, really cool. So let's get right into it. As always, first things first, soldier aim sensitivity. I like mine at 50. This will always be one of those settings that I suggest you play at somewhere where you want. And uh, you don't necessarily need to pick exactly what I do, uh, but there is such a thing as too low and there is probably such a thing as too high. So my guess here for most people, it's gonna be between 40 and 60. Field of view, I have it at 95. And I think again, this is something that in previous titles, um, I would like to have more you know all the way up but the way that this game works it just feels a little smoother in general when you have it down a little bit um 295 even with the new update and the new settings this still feels the best to me ads field of view on this is just one of those things that i think you're always going to find makes your game a little easier when you aim down sights uh particularly with smaller magnified weapons or holographic sites you don't get as much zoom in which uh, makes your time transitioning in and out of adsing much easier plus you tend to have less visual recoil on screen uniform soldier aiming is something that i had previously had turned off for a while because it just didn't feel great right now i've got it on and it feels much better than it does with it off um, i'm going with the default sensitivity coefficient which is 133 as we move down here to aim assist there are three options now there where there were two it used to be just snap and regular aim assist but now we've got slowdown as an option to change basically affecting how much aim assist slowdown happens with the regular aim assist and as you can read here allows reducing the aim slowdown effect from the soldier aim assist option without decreasing its sticky functionality so i played around with this and you know this is something that i think maybe depending on your play style you're going to want to move a little a little lower potentially if you're let's say trying to engage targets from farther away as it might actually be too sticky and you might end up too much on top of a target like for instance if you're sniping where you need to lead this might be something you actually want to lower down a bit but if you're playing up and in everyone's faces i still think 100 percent across the board here makes the most sense considering again that you're playing against other players that are on pc playing on a mouse where they can snap to you pretty easily this is going to give you an option this is, i mean and i'll be honest with you the way this feels now you almost might have a bigger advantage than pc players do this feels a lot more like call of duty aim assist right now which we might have to do a video on that whether or not that's good or bad but i digress now this is a new function here that i think is amazing that they have they never they didn't previously have input curves uh for you to choose from in the game but bf5 was always one of my favorite feeling battlefield games as far as the aim and the sticks were concerned i flipped this on and was not disappointed it feels very very good this soldier zoom aim input curve is not accessible due to the fact we're using uh, uniform soldier aiming stick input acceleration presets there's really only technically three of these because there's 50 there's 100 and there's zero um, now in my previous videos i had been using a, a little bit of acceleration to sort of make the game feel a little more responsive um, however that was prior to having input curves where i would normally be in a battlefield game uh, which is zero is now a place that i can be and it feels really good uh, because of this setting right here so I think this is where you're going to want to be, and you're going to really like this. If you enjoyed the way Battlefield 5 felt, you thought it felt smooth, as smooth as butter, the way I did, this is going to be what you want to use right here. Soldier Sprint, uh, I like to click. You can hold it if you want. Again, this this stuff here is all, is all just preference-based, really, in my opinion. Um, you can maybe gain a tactile advantage uh, here or there by clicking one of these on or off, but that all depends on how you play. Uh, this here, again, all up to your preference now something that has changed for me because the game is so smooth and i want to be able to use a slightly higher sensitivity base sensitivity than i than i would normally i'm actually running my soldier zoom aim sensitivity at 80 um and really this could be 85 even uh, and it but basically what happens here is if we're gonna we're gonna base this number essentially off of our top sensitivity number 
And if we're going at a, at a base of, let's say 80, and I'm at 50 here, if I decide to lower this down for any reason, if this feels too fast, well, I'm gonna lower, I'm going to increase the soldier's zooming sensitivity um, to match. So if I go down by five up there, I'm going to go down by about five, at, well, let's find it here, uh, by about five here and go up to 85. So basically you're starting at 80 at this number and then once you move around with your top sensitivity where that base is, if you feel a little bit like you have to make some adjustments there, just do it in five, five number increments and just see where you're at. I like 80 quite a bit though. I think it feels good when you aim down sights, you're able to get from target to target and with the aim assist functionality, it allows you to easily transition. Now the real key here, I think to make this work properly is to not always just try to go from target to target while you're ADSing. Now, if your targets are right next to each other, sure. But if you've got a target a little bit off to the right or a little bit off to the left, go ahead and get out of ADS and then re-snap on to the next target. It's going to work really, really, really good for you. All of these here, again, all preference, all preference. Uh, we're keeping vertical aim ratio. This was the same number we had before. I'm not messing with it at all. Um, this stuff here, again, also totally preference based. Um, I've got these set slightly different just because of the way that I, actually this is all set because of my mouse and keyboard settings. I would personally, because Uniform Soldier Aiming is on, I would keep these all at 100 as that's one of the functions of Uniform Soldier Aiming is to help balance out this stuff here. Uh, controller tuning, which is pretty much the same as where I had always had it. Um, my max input thresholds I had had tinkered around with in previous settings videos. We're going right back to 100. Again, the curve stuff has made a huge difference. Being able to go to that BF5 curve has made a gigantic difference. So this is back to 100. The center dead zone, I always suggest you set this as low as you can without getting stick drift. My axial dead zone, I've raised just slightly up to five. And basically what this does is the higher this number is, uh, the more the game will try to correct your left to right movement uh, with the aiming stick when you're going at full speed ultimately if you feel like you're at all good at aiming you want this to be sort of low you don't want too much correction to be had because you'll notice that the game is actually changing what you're doing again this is also a very low number we just change it moved up just slightly from about three and a half to five uh, today uh, down here Again, this is something that I think no matter what game you're playing, if you have this option, it's great to have a lower max input threshold uh, for your left and right triggers because that allows you to fire or aim down sights a little bit quicker, like the input is registered a bit faster. So I think that, you know, comfortably 50 is great. If you can, if you want to go lower, go lower. Uh, depending on your controller, you may find too low of a setting will have accidental firing or accidental ADSing. So this is... Um, I would start at 50, and if you want to go lower, try it. But this is a pretty good number, I think, for anybody. All right, guys, that's it for today. Let me know if you enjoy these settings. I'll probably be tinkering with them a bit, but I feel like we're in a real, real good spot here. Um, if you enjoy these, please give this video a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We'll have more settings videos in the future when we need to, but we also do tons of Battlefield content, live streams, you name it, we got it. Have a great week. We'll see you soon.